good morning students today we are going to start a new chapter wave optics we have already studied ray optics there we told that light is a ray but actually is light a ray no light is a wave light is an electromagnetic wave then why do we do ray optics we do ray optics because it is actually the geometrical construction a ray is a path where the light travels okay a ray is a path where the light travels but actually light is propagating as electromagnetic wave so ray optics is considered as the geometrical optics whereas wave optics is the real optics okay ray gives the direction of propagation of the wave that is the relevance of the chapter ray optics now here in wave optics light is considered as an electromagnetic wave so we first discuss what is electromagnetic wave and then we will do about wave fronts and huygens principle what is an electromagnetic wave here i have shown two types of waves one in red color other in blue color both of them the red color represents electric field which i have drawn along the y axis whereas the blue color wave is actually represent the magnetic field which i have drawn in the z axis so electric field is along the y axis magnetic field is along the z axis and wave is propagating along the x axis so an electromagnetic wave means there is a variation in the electric and magnetic field both of them are perpendicular to each other and they are mutually perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave such kind of wave is called electromagnetic wave they do not require any medium for its propagation you can see uh, rays from the sun comes to the earth there is no medium in between the rays can come in vacuum the rays can travel through vacuum we are getting the light from the stars so the light is traveling through vacuum then heat waves heat wave is another electromagnetic wave which is called infrared radiations that also we are getting from sun ultraviolet radiations microwaves which we are using in radar radio waves which we use in mobile communication all those things consider, are considered as electromagnetic waves these all waves do not require a medium for its propagation such kind of wave is called electromagnetic wave so whenever electromagnetic wave propagates there will be an electrical variation and there will be a magnetic variation both of them are mutually perpendicular to each other and they are perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave okay so that is what i have written here the direction of electric and magnetic field are mutually perpendicular to each other as well as direction of propagation of the wave and the third point the speed of electromagnetic wave entirely depends on the electric and magnetic properties of the medium okay the if there is a medium then the speed depends on the electric and magnetic properties of the medium and not on the amplitude of their variations speed does not depend on the amplitude speed depends only on the electrical and magnetic properties of the medium and if a wave is propagating along the x axis then its speed can be given by c is equal to 1 by root of mu 0 epsilon 0 where mu 0 is the permeability of the medium and epsilon 0 is the permittivity of the medium now c c is the speed of light in free space in vacuum so mu 0 is the permeability of free space epsilon 0 is the permittivity of free space okay 
so that is the maximum speed the wave can achieve now if there is a medium so this is the equation when there is no medium and if there is a medium then the equation will be v instead of c we will write v v is equal to 1 by root of mu 0 into mu r epsilon 0 into epsilon r at that time depending upon mu r and epsilon r the speed will vary okay for discussion of optical property of electromagnetic wave the more significance is given to the electric field so electric field is called light vector electric field is having more strength than the magnetic field and uh, that is why electric field is called light vector now let us come to wave front what is called wave front a wave front is the locus of points having the same phase of oscillation it is the locus of points having the same phase of oscillation so what does actually that mean so let us see imagine there is a point source so here i have marked a point source which is written in uh, which is marked as green color light will propagate as electromagnetic waves and i am just taking the direction of the wave which can be represented by a ray so i have drawn a red rays on all the sides so it just propagates with same speed on all sides okay the wave propagates with same speed on all sides take a small fraction of second delta t in that fraction of second the light wave from here reaches this point similarly similarly light wave from here reaches this point light wave from here reaches this point and so on that means the light wave in all the direction travel at the same distance okay distance traveled by the wave in one particular time delta t will be same in all the directions so i can draw a circle here that circle is called wavefront okay that circle is called wavefront again again i am taking another time delta t so wave will go from here to here similarly from here from here to here from here to here and so on therefore i can get another circle so imagine this shape this is like circles now imagine it in a three dimensional form like a point source is kept here light is propagating in all the directions so when i take a radius you will get a sphere and if you take any point on the sphere all waves reaching at that point on the sphere will be having same phase angle same angle of vibration so that sphere is called a wave front that is why it is written the locus of all points having the same phase of vibration locus means you can see i have marked some points in violet color and i am i have drawn a circle which covers all those points that circle drawn is called locus in three dimension it will be a sphere okay so the locus of all points which has the same phase of vibration is called wave front so you can see from a point source spherical wave front will be produced i can only show circle here because it's a plane in real sense it will be a spherical wave front now for a linear source what else if i take a linear source a linear source will produce a cylindrical wave front the blue color thing is the wave front and the red color arrows that i have marked is called ray and you have to think like this ray is always perpendicular to the wave front okay keep that point in mind a ray is always perpendicular to the wave front so point source produces spherical wave front 
a linear source produces cylindrical wave front what what is meant by linear source you take a cardboard and cut a rectangular portion from a small rectangular portion from it and you put a torch from one side so the light coming from this will be what uh, you, the light will be coming only through that rectangular slit so rectangular slit will be acting as a linear source and linear source produces cylindrical wave front okay now the third one source at infinity source at infinity source at infinity will produce plane wave front so if the source is at infinity you will see that a ray is coming like this parallel rays and if i draw the wave front they are there are perpendicular planes the plates which are perpendicular to the ray that is the wave front so this is the plane wave front okay now here i have written like this pink dots stands for wavelet blue envelope is wave front and the red line is a ray so what is actually wavelet mean a wavelet is the point of disturbance due to the propagation of light it is the point of disturbance due to the propagation of the light that means a part of a wave so you can you can just think like this wave means it is the disturbance which is propagating so as i told after a time delta t the disturbance reached one particular point so i have put a point there similarly uh, in the other direction it has come up to this particular point like that i have drawn many points and then uh, draw the circle okay so a point of disturbance due to the propagation of light is called a wavelet now let us see huygens principle what is huygens principle christian huygens his name is christian huygens he is the person who found the wave nature of light first he thought uh, that the light is a mechanical wave it requires a medium for its propagation but later on it is found that light doesn't require a medium for its propagation so he told light is a transverse wave so and uh, and later maxwell proposed the electromagnetic wave theory and finally the light is considered as electromagnetic wave so christian huygens is the first scientist who told that light is a wave and he was giving the explanation of how the wave propagates so he just told what is wave front and how this wave front is propagating so christian huygens was telling that light is propagating as wave front so how this wave front is propagating that is what he uh, is telling from his principle okay so let us see what is huygens principle suppose there is a, po a point source s i have marked as here there is a point source so from the point source light will propagate in all the directions i have just marked three arrows but there are not three arrows there are arrows in all the sides because you are, you are getting a spherical wave front if it is a point source i have just taken three rays and i have marked the first wave front that is this this middle line is my first wave front okay this middle line is my first wave front now huygens is telling that each point on a wave front act as a fresh source of disturbance of light Huygens is telling that each point on a wave front act as a fresh source of disturbance of light that means you can see some red dots i have marked here those red dots are actually wavelets so each dots each dots act as a fresh dot of disturbance fresh source of disturbance and from each point circular wave front is originating these 
circular wave front is called secondary wavelets so this is the first wave front and i have marked certain point of disturbance here all these points act as a source of new disturbance or it act as a source of new wave so from that point new spherical wave front is generating okay new spherical wave front is generating now i draw an envelope in the forward direction of that sphere that forward envelope will be my new wave front okay we are not uh, here in the backward case i have just put a dotted line because energy is propagating forward so we only have to consider the forward envelope we will not consider the backward envelope because energy from a source is emitting in the forward direction okay energy is going out from the source it is not coming towards the source therefore we will take only the forward envelope and no backward envelope is taken because no backward wave front is generating there is no backward wave front okay so each point act as a source of fresh disturbance of light the new wave front at any later time is obtained by taking the forward envelope of the secondary wavelets at that time okay so we have discussed huygens principle with the spherical wave front uh, with the cylindrical wave front it will be like this so but we are not discussing it we are just discussing only with the spherical wave front okay so imagine like this this is the first wave front mark the point of disturbance draw circular wave fronts those are called secondary wavelets take the forward envelope that will give the new wave front okay this is how the light is propagating now i have uh, written why the backward wave front is rejected the amplitude of the secondary wavelet is proportional to 1 plus cos theta okay amplitude of the secondary wavelet is proportional to 1 plus cos theta so obviously for the backward wavelet theta is equal to 180 degree for the forward wavelet theta is equal to 0 degree and for the backward wavelet theta is equal to 180 degree and cos 180 is minus 1 so 1 minus 1 becomes 0 so that is why the backward wave front is not the not possible so there is no half here only 1 plus cos theta okay just make a note of that so that's all about wave front you take the notes and the pictures from here and in the next section we will discuss about law of reflection and refraction okay thank you